part of Worcester that didn't look nearly as nice as where the shine menu got moved to. Yeah. So my opinion changed on Worcester. It definitely had a redemption arc in my eyes. But that said, we have another match coming for you guys. Another top Mexican player, three in a row now. Sky J. I know, man. Following the heels of Spargo and MK Leo, best in center in the world, is going to be going up against Kowtow, who you said is from Southern Virginia, right? Yeah, Southern Virginia helps run uh, the Stick Drift monthlies down there. Uh, pretty solid regional. North Carolina comes up and everything like that. So even uh, some of the bigger Maryland players, they'll make the drive down too. Uh, so honestly, just a pretty solid time altogether. But I mean, as much as I like Kowtow, because he's given me money to talk on the microphone before, Sky J is one of my favorite people and one of my favorite players, man. And it has nothing to do with the cat on screen, I promise. Oh, yeah, I forgot there might be a little <laughs> bias on both sides of the equation for you here. <laughs> Dude, I've passed it for him before, and uh, I, I popped into his stream after. He goes, yeah, man, you're biased. <laughs> you're biased. So I'm, like, I'm like, yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. but it's for you, so it's why are you calling me out, bro? Come yeah. on. Because he's out. just a good dude. Yeah, no, Sky J is super chill. Yep. Definitely one of my favorite new additions to the Ultimate community. Started popping up around like the quarantine era, right? And really made a splash for himself. Yep. And as we see, as this game continues to move forward, you gotta keep in mind, like, just being a part of the Mexican region, right? You're gonna have experience against some of the best players in the world. It's gonna turn you into one of the best players in the world. So Joker coming out here, probably not too much of a scary thing for Incineroar to deal with. Yeah, Sky J's eyes probably lit up as soon as he saw the character select screen. Oh, yeah. Okay, I like that. Followed through the platform, too. I mean, this still was a very small punish, I think, but either way. I love that. Yeah, the turnaround, Darkest Larry right there. Very clean. Incineroar able to flash white, just ignore whatever's there. Yep. Very clutch move for a character who's, you know, a little bit uh, challenged in the get off me department sometimes. But we're going to see Kowtow just not quite sure what was going on off the stage. Throw an air dodge out and meet his end. And I like the fact that he had that recognition, knowing how Joker's recovery works in general. Like, there's really no hitbox on it, right? Mm -hmm. So he can go out there, throw out the Darkest Lariat, and then he can cross chop back. And that just kind of covers a whole bunch of stuff. Like, what is Joker going to do while he's still recovering to the stage? So that was he just beautifully played from Sky J at that point. Yeah, Joker's recovery, there we go. reliable but exploitable. Oh, yes. The distance is magnificent, but of course, you can interrupt it in both versions with a variety of moves. We're going to see Sky J take full advantage of that. Oh, hold on, trying to jab lock with the guns? <laughs> Pretty saucy there, Kowtow. But I don't know, when you're down this hard, I think you're going to need a little bit more than a jab lock to yeah, tie it up. That is for sure. But don't sleep on the Kowtow, I promise, man. I mean, I know he's not the guy you're usually going to think about when it comes to MDVA, but Sova is not a bad region at all. And this guy, as much as he's a TO, he can game, man. He could definitely yeah. show out here. And right now, I mean, he's looking a little bit worse for wear, but the game's certainly not over when you got a character like Joker. I mean, we just saw a very similar story with Spargo versus Steezy, right? A yeah. player who's definitely very good, might not have that name recognition, so to speak, but they get it done, and it just so happens like you're going up against literally one of the best players in the world. Okay, Sky J biting off a little bit more than he could chew right there. We're going to see Kowtow punish perfectly with the down air. And now Sky J has to find some way to get this done. That Arsene meter not looking too good, and look at the coverage right there. Wow. <laughs> he wanted the untackable probably, but it's going to kill either way. Dude, I'm telling you straight up, okay, 100%. Every Incineroar in that scenario, 99.9% .9 of the time, is going to do that, but let you run into them so they can just kind of land right back on stage. And it just puts you in this awkward position. But Sky J is that 0.1%. <laughs> and look, looking right there too, there was no way you were expecting you to fly over the ledge yeah. and go to the other side of the screen. He just wasn't ready for it, man. And I believe he had no jump since he had used it earlier yeah. anyway. Never hit the ground again. Yeah, that is super rough. Into the loving arms of Incineroar. And both of them just laughing that one off. Oh, and yeah. how could you not? Quite I honestly, mean, it was hilarious. These are literally two of some of the friendliest guys I've met in the scene, man. They both, they're both uh, they always super cool when I chat with them. So, I mean, I'm not surprised that they're up there having a good time. Like, I, I feel it. like it's impossible for Sky J to ever be in a bad mood. If you guys ever see him in person, chat him up. One of the friendliest people. Yeah, I've never met Kowtow, but I would totally believe that he's the same way because if you're a TO and you're an asshole, no one's going to come to your events, so you got to be nice. But yeah, but he is a TO, and that means sometimes other people will ruin his mood. So I've definitely seen true. some bad moods from true. him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Either way, it's looking a, a little, a little oh. better for Kowtow in that he still has all three stocks. Yep. And he actually had a chance to really cheese Incineroar there, too. And, you oh. know, he could do it again. Oh, a little too early. If he actually just charged that, he would have been absolutely fine. But the down throw into the forward, that's definitely going to close out that stock. Yeah, he didn't even have to go for the tech chase, right? He got that juicy landing down air. Could have just straight up comboed off of it. But 
You gotta maintain your composure when you're fighting these top players on stream. I know the pressure can be a lot to take sometimes, though, so not gonna knock Counts out for it. Man, I, the one reason why I hate Sky J is he makes Incineroar look a lot better than he really is. This character sucks. <laughs> I swear to God. Oh my god, yeah, the dev team is just watching. It's like, oh yeah, I don't think we need to buff him. There's that one dude from Mexico, he kind of just bodies everybody, so Incineroar's fine. Yep, yeah. next. Next character. No, there we go. Finally closes it out. Actually, looking much better. I know he's at 106, but this is a much closer game than we just saw in game one. Unfortunately, completely dry on meter, though. That forward air going to give him a little something, but Ooh. he is knocking on death's door, and SkyJ might answer. It's just a matter of getting back on stage. I mean, get something on here before you lose the stock, and that's going to be it. Forward throw will be enough. And there we go, man. SkyJ sitting pretty with a full stock ahead. The fact that he could have just chosen whatever direction he wanted to oh, press yeah. on his control stick after that grab <laughs> and still kill. Kind of nutty. Wow. Not ready for the tech, though. And Kowtow, I thought it was looking better for him that game, but quite the opposite. Blindingly fast game, too. And SkyJ, just one more away from moving on a little further here. I think because of the way that SkyJ set up the, uh, the Nair, he was actually expecting... Uh, Kowtow was expecting to kind of be bounced out again, kind of like last time, but because he went more towards the stage, yeah. so the positioning sets him up for the, uh, the stage spike. So that was just kind of unfortunate positioning on his part. Um, but I get it, man. You're just you want you're trying to get back to the stage, and we talked about it, man. Joker's recovery is exploitable. Uh, pro tip: If you're not sure if you're going to get stage spike or hit out, just hit the tech anyway. Option yep. selected in there. Right. I, and in general, when you're recovering, if your opponent's anywhere near you, you might as well press the trigger just in case. You know, because if they don't hit you, then nothing will happen. The, the LRR yeah. press will just go to waste and disappear into the ether. So, uh, either way, uh, yeah, and ultimate, you know, sometimes the game's buffer system might betray you, but that's generally a, a pretty safe OS to go for. And we're going to be getting into this game three, we'll see if Kowtow is finally able to get his feet planted here. I think it's really what matters most, right? When you're playing against a rare character like Incineroar in the very capable hands of Sky J. Sometimes you just never get to adjust or adapt or really feel like you're playing your game. So now, after two pretty dominant ones, we'll see if Kowtow can put up a better fight. I'm not happy with Kowtow. He chose this song. <laughs> Wait, really? Like, manually chose it? Yeah, he, he, he chose it. Wow, I wasn't I, looking at that monitor. I know. Oh, my God. And I'm just like, bro, there's like, you know what? Good. Good. <laughs> I hope he loses the stock. Yeah, this, this song's putting me to sleep. <laughs> I need the gameplay to wake me up. And it's crazy. Like it's such a weird shift too, because you get this like quiet song. Hey, I might take a nap, and then you got Incineroar and Joker beating the absolute hell out of each other. A high-paced match. Also, just want to point something out about those side Bs that Sky J is doing into the ledge. A lot of them, he's holding down so he won't snap right, which gives yeah. you a lot more active frames to intercept Joker. But then, once he does get to the ledge. He's putting a trump in there, so you better be mashing or buffering your input off there so you avoid the trump. Yeah. And we saw him get it done, not with the command grab, but with the neutral air off the trump on that first stock. Yeah. Or, sorry, like, during the first stock. Yeah, definitely uh, looking pretty solid. But right now, it's just about Kowtow trying to get on stage here. Trying to get something happening. Yeah, it's uh, not too far out of reach at this point. You got a lot of damage on Incineroar, heavy as he might be. Can also just edge guard him for the stock. Oh wow! Does the upbeat too early to snap to the ledge? After getting hit, there's a small timer that you can't grab the ledge for. But Kowtow just didn't capitalize on the onstage landing. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. Yep. Reading the stage roll, and that's one of those things, man. And Cinderor, as slow as he is, as terrible as he is, he's got great normals. Like I'm just gonna be honest. Some here. of the like, best. He's not that bad, I promise. But no, he's not. The fact that he's uh, he's got some of these great normals, like up air, actually covers a very large portion of that platform, and so you're able to react depending on what your opponent wants to do, and SkyJ was just ready for it the entire time. Oh, Kowtow smelling the fear, though, that American air dodge towards center stage is going to get punished. Completely forgot. <laughs> Even Mexican there. players are not immune to the American air dodge. <laughs> I completely you start coming over here too that. much, you know, it's like, ah. <laughs> yeah, man, you get used to the culture. It's, yeah. like, it's like when you visit, like, uh, any other uh, place and you start picking up the accent a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. I mean, I lived in North Dakota for a little bit. I catch my st myself saying go sometimes, and I absolutely <laughs> hate myself. Oop. But I never say bag, and I hate, oh, my God, I hate the way they say bag. Yeah, uh, hold, hold up, though. Kowtow is just in the lead for a sec. Yeah. Two stocks gone very quickly off of Sky J, and now... It He's got to go completely serious if he wants to deliver on this 3-0. Well, I mean, he's got to do something because his music choice is just absolutely terrible. <laughs> and he's actually got Arsene coming out here in a little bit. He's going to get it popping out here. Oh, my God. Oh, no, well, not, that's a red-blooded, <laughs> God-fearing American. 
from Virginia. Jeez. Dude, SkyJ was going for something absolutely stupid there. He didn't quite get what he wanted. And oh. honestly, good thing for Kowtow because he now has a little bit of life in him and he might be able to steal a game away from SkyJ. Again, this is why you finish your food. Oh, no way! Arsene going away just in time and the back hit of Darkest Lariat just enough to get it done. SkyJ, 3-0, but man, you watch only that third game and you would have thought that was a hot set in the making. Mm -hmm. Honestly, great stuff. I mean, I... <laughs> I'm, I'm honestly a big fan of both these guys for good reason. Because uh, again, Kowtow, gave, he gave me money to cast one time. I gave him money. <laughs> he gave me money. <laughs> but, uh, Are you saying was, you can be bought that easily? I can be. <laughs> I can. No. Uh, you give me money and uh, yeah, DM's man. open. Exactly. You give me money to do things I like to do. And 100% I like you as a person. Right. And so. you know, you give me money to do something I don't like, $20 is $20.